with regard to the final assembly of this 3D printer. The only problem I had was with the control board, the connectors, where they go. The PDF that came with the printer did not have the uh, connectors clearly marked. So I went to the GTEC website and I got this GT2560 uh, control board diagram. This is exactly the uh, control board that I have over here. So um, I was able to correct my connection mistakes and once I did that everything worked. The only other problem I had with, was with the auto homing. So this rod here doesn't seem to reach down far enough to hit the Z-stop switch. So I just added a small extension to it. So when I auto home this, the nozzle is just slightly below the glass there. And um, when I level the bed, what I do is I uh, disable the motor, the central motor, and then I loosen some of the screws here on, on four ends until the nozzle is like about 0.2 millimeter away from the glass. You see that I didn't put the, the clip here on this side. It's because when the motor moves, sometimes it hits the, uh, the clip. So I clipped it on those side, but I didn't put it on, on this side here. So hopefully that wouldn't affect the printing too much. I'm still experimenting with some of the settings. Now I set the heat bed temperature to 80 degrees because it was uh, shrinking a little bit on the side with some of the stuff that I was making. So I just try a higher temperature. Now, this particular stepper motor here doesn't have an extra fan um, to cool the printer material. I'm not sure how critical is that. Maybe someone can tell me um, you know, why it's necessary. They never included it on the original equipment here. Um, yeah, I remember the only other problem I have in assembling this is the mounting bracket to this traversing um, X axis mechanism here. Because some of the parts here are assembled already, I didn't want to take it apart. And without taking it apart, it's very difficult to mount the bracket to this plastic part here. Uh, I had to use a bit of uh, crazy glue, uh, super glue, and I glued the nut to the bracket and then I was able to uh, insert the bolt from the other side and then tighten, tighten the bracket down. Otherwise it would have been impossible for me to put my finger there to hold the nut while I'm tightening the bolt. So those are the only major problems that I experience in assembling this. And once I hooked it up, there are like 50 different parts and when you hit the switch on the power supply, luckily for me, no smoke came out from the control board. And it actually works, although the actual printing itself 
that would be another learning experience and I just have to play around with it, all the different settings. Now, some of you would question the coupler on the this is the Z axis motor. Um, actually, the Z axis doesn't move that much; it just move up. So I don't think it's that critical. The X and the Y is more critical because it's constantly moving. So. The uh, belt tension and um, the bearings, the roller, uh, the, it's more important for them to be aligned and, and the belt at the proper tension. Yeah, I, um, I made a nut before. This is a uh, um, build roll racket. Rack edit. I saw his uh, video and um, he reinforced his printer by putting the nut from here to the middle. So I can understand why because the middle part is um, it's like a very thin plywood. So, but um, I don't seem to have any problems right now um, although the wood would be a little more flimsy than aluminum or the acrylic but hey this is 154 dollars and uh, you know you shouldn't expect too much uh, I added like I said in the first video a little for LED light. This is just a strip light and I just cut three LEDs out and I just that's a resistor building so you don't need any extra driver. I just hook it up to a 12 volt outlet here. It's not overwhelmingly bright but just enough light so you see what you're doing. So that's where I'm at. Um, so far, I'm happy. When this finished printing, I'm going to take it out and you can see the finished product. Okay, so it's just finished printing that fan guard. It took about 33 minutes to do it. And now it's sitting on the hotbed there. It has to cool down. This is about 165 degrees. See here, I'm printing it off the glass, which you may or may not. It's still a little hot. To wait for it to cool down out. Oh, no. Yep, popped off. So this is the back. Very nice, smooth. And this is the front. And yeah. Thanks for watching.